what Yulia didn't explain there, which when you hear her story and when she shares a story line, was that she actually was a pen pal to that girl after that present. They were writing to one another. And through those letters, this girl from the other side of the world started to share with her about the Lord Jesus. And she came to know the Lord Jesus all started with that gift of love. So there's the charity of Samaritan's Purse. If you'd like to, you feel moved to give to all that. You can either put money in the back or whatever, or send a transfer to the church, label it a gift for the church, go towards that and towards the Starfish Foundation. But also, the entertainer, the toy shop in town, actually, you know, the CEO, I think, is a Christian. They actually pack up boxes where you can go in and actually give boxes to Samaritan's Purse through the toy shop. So check that out in town. Um, Right, well, today, what I thought we'd look at is battles through the Bible. Now, can you think of any battles that happen through the Bible? As we look through the story of the Bible, any battles that come to mind? Elijah? David and Goliath. David and Goliath, yes. Timmy? Um, uh, Gideon. Gideon, yes. <laughs> what about ones where there were some massive walls and they all came down? That was at Je Jericho, yeah, okay, and lots and lots of battles. And it's interesting with the battles, if you were to follow them through the Bible and to see all the stories of the battles, and you, you just study what happens, and you'll see that when the Lord was there, the hot it completely changed. God, when God's there and God's there in the battle, nobody died on the side. It was completely, he won the victory. And it's all a picture. All these war times in the Bible were a picture of a spiritual battle that happens in our hearts today. Now let me tell you the story of one of the battles by a king that was called Jehoshaphat. Very briefly, and then I've got a video, I want you to listen to the story of the song. A really good song that Pete really enjoys called Jehoshaphat. And this guy Jehoshaphat was a really good king, right? And this king, he loved the Lord and he led his people... But one day, this terrible army came, and they were really scary. There were too many of them. It was a bit too frightening. Jehoshaphat went and prayed to the Lord about it. You know, when you've got a problem, what should you do? Sometimes we just spend time worrying about it and trying to sort it ourselves. No, Jehoshaphat knew, take it to the Lord. And he took it to the Lord, and do you know what he ended up doing? He thought, well, God's going to answer my prayer. God's in control. So he ended up just starting singing about how great God was, how much... God loved them and how he loved them, his love endures forever and ever. It goes on forever and ever. And you know what happened? Well, you listen to this the, the song now. It's a really cool song. Listen to the words, look at the pictures of the story as it goes through. Here's the story of Jehoshaphat. What happened? Here we go. 